Okay, let's talk about PVST plus. Now, PVST means per VLAN spanning tree protocol. The modern implementation of spanning tree protocol, within Cisco anyway, is not just spanning tree protocol, it's per VLAN spanning tree protocol. And it was called PVST, and it was written and worked with a Cisco ISL trunking protocol, which nowadays um, we use by default 802.1Q trunking protocol, so Cisco developed PVST Plus. And when you're using these switches, all these switches are running STP by default, but I believe that they're actually running PVST Plus by default, and you just don't really realize it because you're not really taking advantage of the per VLAN capabilities. So what is it? What are the benefits um, of PVST Plus and PVST? Well, it's that you can basically run multiple spanning trees, and you can run a spanning tree for each VLAN, right? So for each VLAN, you can have a spanning tree root bridge that will handle uh, basically all the spanning tree algorithms and path costs associated with that VLAN. And you can even set up kind of like a, a root bridge and then a backup root bridge on the VLANs. So that's going to build in something that could be very useful, which would be uh, redundancy. You could have redundancy because you could make, let's say, and that's what we're going to do in this lab, is we're going to try to make this switch the root bridge for VLAN 1, right? Um, and we're going to make this switch the root bridge for VLAN 5, right? But we're going to make this switch also the backup root bridge for VLAN 1, secondary bridge for VLAN 1, right? So this switch is going to be the root bridge for VLAN 5, and then the secondary root bridge for VLAN 1, and vice versa over here, right? Paste, secondary root bridge for VLAN 5. So now, if one of these switches were to go down, the other one would become the root bridge for both VLANs, let's say, right? So anyway, there's some redundancy built in there, and this is um, a more modern implementation of STP. Also, in the next video, we're going to learn about um, Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol, which is another protocol that, um, it, that we need to learn about for the Cisco CCNA. So anyway, I've set up this um, packet tracer network, and if you like to, you can download the starter file from my website at dancecourses.com. Just go to click on uh, CCNA3 and then click on the link that says PVST Plus. All right, and so we've got these switches set up here, and I've got some clients here. And the clients with the yellow are in VLAN 1, and the clients with the green are in VLAN 5. And you can see here 192.168.1.100, and this is 1.101. And then this is 5.100 and 5.101. And the 5 is signifying um, an association that this is VLAN 5, right? VLAN 5 has the 5 address. And I've got um, trunk links set up between the switches. So these are trunks between the switches, and they're all been configured, and they're up and running. And I've configured uh, switch 6 here, S6, and I've configured S4. But in this tutorial, in this lab, we're going to configure S1, 2, 3, and 5 over here. And so let's get started with it. Okay, let's start with the first switch, S1, up here in the left-hand corner. Now this is the switch that we want to be the root bridge for VLAN 1, right? So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this switch here, all right? And I'll pull this over here and return to get started. And what I'm going to do is... I'll say enable conf t, and first thing I'm going to do is say host name s1. So now you know that this is s1 that I'm dealing with, which is this switch right here. Okay. Now I'm in global config mode right here, and the first thing I'm going to need to do is now VLAN 1 is created by default on all the switches by default. The default VLAN is VLAN 1, so we have to create VLAN 5. So we'll do that, and now we have VLAN 5 created right now the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm gonna manually configure gigabit port 1.1 and gigabit port 3.1 that's going this way and going this way to be trunks now they're already functioning as trunks but I'm gonna do it anyway just so you can see it also 
I want to deliberately, um, I'm going to hit Control C here, and then Conf T. I'm going to say spanning, spanning tree, and then I'm going to say mode and a question mark. And you can see that if you, the spanning tree modes, there's only two choices here, PVST and rapid PVST. So I think that this PVST is actually PVST plus, but we'll see. So I'll say PVST. Now, it actually doesn't change anything in the config, which leads me to believe that um, this is uh, actually already running the um, PVST per VLAN spanning tree protocol. Uh, let's see here. We'll do control C. We'll do a show span, which is short for show spanning tree. And you can see here that it looks um, the same as before, right, when we were doing it on previous tutorials, right? Okay. So, and let's see here, let's just double check why we have that open. Um, let's see here, show spanning tree, right there. The root bridge, B8OA, and notice um, the root bridge is B8OA, and this is bridge ID is DDED. So right now, this is not the root bridge on the network, right? It's gigabit 1.1 port, right is a root port right so gigabit 11 is is the root port meaning it's the closest to the root bridge so what we could do is we could take a look here and that's gigabit 11 is going this way right so that means that maybe this bridge this switch is the root bridge right now okay so anyway what we'll do is we'll say all right conf t we'll get into global config mode again and we'll manually configure our interfaces. Interface GI one slash one, right? And we'll say SW tab switch port mode trunk. And then we'll say switch port trunk allowed VLAN one through one thousand five. All right, so we're just being explicit here. And that's 1.1, but we also have to configure 3.1. All right. So to do that, I'm just going to up arrow, and I'll change that to 3.1. And switch port mode trunk, and then switch port mode trunk allowed. So we've just configured the two trunk ports. Now, what we also need to do is control C, conf T to get to global config mode, span, tab, spanning tree and we'll say spanning tree and then a question mark and then we'll say VLAN VLAN 1 right and then a question mark and then we'll say we can either set we can either set the priority number for the switch or we could say make it a uh, the root right so we'll say okay we'll make it the root right question mark and it's either the root primary or secondary. We want to make it the primary, right? So spanning tree, VLAN 1, root primary, OK? And then we'll say up arrow, spanning tree, VLAN 5, and we'll make it the secondary, all right? Control C, and we'll do a show spanning tree. And you can see here that for VLAN 5, okay, VLAN 1, so it, now it has two instances here. You can see here it says VLAN 1, the root bridge, DDED, and guess what? That's our MAC address, DDED. And then it shows you the ports that are in forwarding and a blocking state, right? for um, as the root bridge on um, VLAN 1. Then for VLAN 5, it has a separate designation of who's the root bridge. And of course, this bridge, the root bridge is um, right now, it's the primary because, well, because there is no primary yet because we haven't configured it yet. And then it shows you the port designations for that spanning tree. So now there's actually two spanning tree instances. And so you get almost like two outputs. So that's pretty interesting. So now what we'll do is let's do the same thing on S2. So we'll go to S2 and 
command line interface, enter, enable, conf t, host name, s2, spanning, tab, tree, mode, pvst, then spanning tree, question mark, okay, we want vlan, question mark, uh, one, no, five, question mark, okay, uh, we'll say root primary. So this switch will be the primary root bridge for VLAN 5, and for VLAN 1, it'll be the secondary, right? Also, we need to actually create VLAN um, 5 on this bridge. So we'll say VLAN 5, right? Because VLAN 1 is there by default. All right, then control C, show VLAN. You can see there's one, there's five. Show span. There's our spanning tree. Notice for VLAN 1 or for VLAN 5, it's the root bridge. For VLAN 1, it should be the secondary root bridge. Okay, the root ID, DDD, yep, it's not the root bridge for, the, for VLAN 1. So now we've got the um, backup and the primary and the secondary root bridges, or the, the root bridge and the backup root bridge set up there. Now let's set up the interfaces just to be consistent. Conf T, interface. And once again, we're doing gigabit, this one 3-1 and 1-1. One one. So we'll say interface GI 1 slash 1, switch port mode trunk, switch port trunk allowed 1 through 1005. OK, switch port trunk allowed VLAN. 1 through 1005. That's it. Then we'll do up arrow and do gigabit port 3-1 and then switch port mode trunk and then switch port trunk allowed VLANs 1 through 1005. Alright, and we're done. Let's just take a quick peek also at the show run which is the running dash configuration file and you can see here that now in the running config, and this is pretty interesting, right at the top you can see spanning tree VLAN 5 and a priority number, right, which is the default priority number, and this is, look how low this is. So VLAN 5, it's 24576, right? The default is 32,768, and so this is lower, so this is why this guy is going to be the root bridge for VLAN 5. And then for VLAN 1, it's 28,000, which is also higher than the default 32,000 but it's going to be um, higher than the other switch, which will have a 24576 for VLAN 1. So it's going to be the root bridge for this VLAN and the backup root bridge for this VLAN. Second place, so to speak. All right, and then switch port mode trunk, and then you can see the other one switch port mode trunk.